Black holes are among the most mysterious things in the universe. Although we cannot directly witness them, astronomers can observe their effects on space and things in their immediate proximity. Black holes are inescapable wells of gravity, with such a tremendous pull that anything trapped past the event horizon, the point of no return, cannot escape, not even light. And now, because of the efforts of experts such as Michio Kaku, the mystery of the black hole cosmos has been revealed. What happens when matter falls into a black hole? What if you fall into one of them? Let's find out together. What exactly is a black hole? Don't be fooled by the name. A black hole is anything but space. Instead, it's a large amount of matter compressed into a tiny space. Imagine a star 10 times the mass of the sun crammed into a sphere the size of New York City. As a result, nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational field. NASA instruments have recently drawn a new picture of these unusual objects, which many consider the most fascinating things in space. For millennia, people have imagined a vast and thick object in space from which no light could escape. Einstein's theory of general relativity most notably predicted black holes, demonstrating that a giant star leaves behind a small, dense remnant core when it dies. The force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and creates a black hole if the core's mass exceeds nearly three times the sun's mass, according to the equations. Black holes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are created when massive stars die and collapse. Our sun is too small to become a black hole. Therefore, near the conclusion of its existence, it will likely expand into a red giant, cooking our planet alive. Is there a black hole in our Milky Way galaxy? Michio Kaku, a physicist, has an answer, as revealed in a tweet that states, For the first time, astronomers have captured an image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, known as Sagittarius A. The mass of the Sagittarius black hole is 4 million times that of our Sun. Although dormant, scientists believe it was generated by an explosion 2 million years ago. As you may expect, more black holes exist outside our galaxy. The Event Horizon Telescope captured photographs of a gigantic black hole inside galaxy M87, which is around 53 million light years away from Earth. This monster's dark is so massive that its mass exceeds 5 billion times that of the Sun. It's simply incredible. Sagittarius A, the star, is the nearest black hole to Earth, a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way galaxy, 26,000 light years away. Although no black holes are close enough to our planet to threaten human safety, theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has warned that this could change if a wandering black hole enters our cosmic neighborhood. The further discussion raises the topic of if a black hole is more like a single point in space into which everything is dragged, almost in the shape of a ball. Or do scientists see these simulations as gates to other worlds? Black holes cannot be observed directly using telescopes that detect X-rays, light, or electromagnetic radiation. We can, however, deduce the presence of black holes and study them by following their effect on adjacent matter. A black hole, for example, will attract matter inside as it travels through a cloud of interstellar matter, a process called accretion. A similar scenario can occur if an average star comes close to a black hole. In this situation, as it draws the star towards itself, the black hole has the potential to rip it apart. As the attracted matter accelerates and warms up, X-rays are emitted and radiated into space. Recent discoveries provide compelling evidence that black holes profoundly impact their surroundings generating intense gamma-ray bursts, eating neighboring stars, and encouraging the birth of new stars in some locations while stifling it in others. Michio Kaku contends the typical image of a black hole is incorrect. It's not a flat surface with a sinking hole in the center. Movie makers overlook that this funnel-like black hole is merely a teaching tool physicists use to convey curved space, which is challenging to depict. A black sphere is the most plausible description of a non-rotating black hole. The sphere represents the event horizon or point of no return. The black hole is a tiny dot inside the sphere. In the case of a rotating black hole, the black hole itself is most likely a ring of spinning neutrons that does not collapse due to centrifugal forces. The event horizon then encircles the ring. 
there's discussion over what happens if you pass through the ring. Because gravity is finite within the ring, you'll mathematically fall outside our realm via a wormhole into a parallel universe. Indeed, you encounter a different parallel universe each time you pass through the ring. However, whether you can truly make it through the ring is debatable. Some physicists believe that as you enter the wormhole, it will close up or you will be killed by radiation damage. This remains an unresolved question. What would happen if you fell into a black hole? Plunging into a black hole would be fatal. If you fell into a black hole, you would experience a process known as spaghettification. Your atoms would be ripped from you here until you were nothing more than a torrent of particles plummeting toward the center of a black hole. For example, if you were to fall into a black hole first, the gravity would be so intense that you would be spaghettified, and that you would be stretched out to the point that you would be a stream of atoms moving towards the core. According to Dr. Kaku, a best-selling author and professor at the City College of New York, such roving things exist in the universe. Realize that we orbit. We orbit the black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, he remarked in a Big Think video in 2012. We're not consumed by a black hole because we orbit around it. Are there, however, wandering black holes? The answer is yes. In fact, we've been able to track wandering black holes across the cosmos. One of them might catch up with us one day and eat us for breakfast without even burping. Dr. Michio Kaku believes that black holes provide another viable escape route. One advantage of black holes is that as scientists have discovered, they're abundant in the cosmos. Our galaxy's central star has a mass three million times that of our sun. Of course, there are numerous technical issues to be resolved. According to most scientists, a voyage through a black hole would be lethal. Although Einstein's equations allow for passage into a black hole, the quantum effects may be impossible. However, our understanding of black hole physics is still in its early stages, and this hypothesis has never been tested. Before the probe falls into the black hole, it must transmit its data to nearby onlookers. A difficulty emerges here. The probe appears to slow down as it approaches the event horizon and eventually stops. As a result, the probe must communicate the last of its data as soon as possible, or the radio signals will be redshifted beyond recognition. In 2016, astronomers using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory discovered evidence of a wandering black hole most likely caused by a small galaxy colliding with a larger one. According to astronomers, black holes have also been observed eating nearby celestial bodies. Astronomers discovered evidence of a sun-like star traveling too near to a supermassive black hole 125 million light-years away. A year earlier, NASA scientists claimed that a black hole might tear a star apart atom by atom. Fortunately, none of this implies that our world is at imminent risk of being eaten. However, a question remains. Could a black hole destroy Earth? Black holes do not roam the universe devouring stars, moons, and planets. Earth will not fall into a black hole since there are no black holes close enough to the solar system for this to ever happen. Even if a black hole with the same mass as the sun replaced the sun, Earth would not fall into it. The gravity of the black hole would be the same as that of the sun. The Earth and the other planets would orbit the black hole like they currently orbit the sun. But the sun will never become a black hole. The sun is not powerful enough of a star to become a black hole. According to NASA, this is an improbable scenario that will never occur. Black holes do not wander around the universe randomly swallowing worlds, NASA stated. Like all other objects in space, they obey the laws of gravity. A black hole's orbit would have to be close to the solar system to affect Earth, which is unlikely. Even if the sun spontaneously turned into a black hole one day, the effects of its gravity would remain the same. In other words, the Earth and the planets would remain in their previous orbits. According to Michio Kaku, as you approach a black hole, dramatic distortions of space and time occur, but they're only observable to someone watching you fall into the black hole from afar. If you fall into a stellar black hole, you'll likely pass through the event horizon and plunge into the black hole itself in the blink of an eye. Death appears to be mercifully quick from your point of view. On the other hand, an observer viewing the incident will see something completely different. 
The time has slowed because the light is stretched and redshifted as it reaches the viewer. You'll appear to be moving in slow motion as you're ripped apart. It takes thousands of years to arrive near the event horizon. The information of all matter swallowed up is thought to be retained in some form, a concept known as the information paradox. Understanding the paradox is essential for reconciling quantum physics and general relativity. When it comes to black holes, two of the cornerstone theories in physics don't entirely agree with each other. This disagreement is currently one of theoretical physics' most important unsolved problems. Moreover, many physicists, like Michio Kaku, believe that black holes could represent doorways to other worlds or dimensions. While seemingly taken from a science fiction film, this concept is found on actual scientific hypotheses. It's known as the black hole information paradox, and it basically asks where the knowledge about everything that fell into a black hole goes if information cannot be destroyed and black holes eventually evaporate. Some speculate that it could travel through a wormhole to another universe, adding to the mystery of black holes. Despite their massive size and massive impact, black holes can die. In 1974, the great physicist Stephen Hawking discovered what is now known as the Hawking radiation. Under this phenomenon, the black hole's mass will scatter into space and continue to evaporate until nothing is left. A black hole with the same mass as the sun is expected to die in around 1,067 years. If you're wondering how many black holes there are in the cosmos, unfortunately, an exact answer is hard to obtain. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.